You're being advised of a scam to trick you into paying cryptocurrency to lift arrest warrants. Today is Friday, February 23rd, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Cloudy today, a high in the mid-50s. Last weekend, a White Lives Matter rally was held by a neo-Nazi group in Sunbury. This weekend, a counter-rally will be staged to promote peace, love, and unity. The Daily Item reports the Peace, Love, Unity rally will be Saturday morning beginning at 10 on Front Market Street. The United States Attorney's Office is alerting the public about a nationwide scam to trick unsuspecting individuals into paying cryptocurrency to lift non-existent arrest warrants. Targets of the scam have received forged court documentation stating that they're being investigated for payroll protection program fraud. The recipients are advised that in order to lift the arrest warrant, they must make a payment through a cryptocurrency kiosk. The U.S. Attorney's Office is warning the public that these solicitations are unapproved and illegitimate. An accused Williamsport drug dealer is indicted on federal charges. Police allege 30-year-old Victor Gibbs ran a methamphetamine and cocaine business in the city. The indictment covers charges pending in Lycoming County Court over several controlled buys. The Lycoming Law Association is hosting a Wills for Heroes event. Volunteer attorneys will provide basic estate plans to Pennsylvania's first responders, veterans, active military members, and their spouse or partner at no cost. Wills for Heroes will be held March 16th at the Old Lycoming Township Volunteer Fire Hall. Reservations are required. More information can be seen at www.lycolaw.org. State Patty's Day is being celebrated this weekend in State College and the borough and Penn State are making preparations to curb problems. The student-created holiday is centered around drinking. State, local, township, borough, and university police will be maintaining a strong presence throughout the weekend. In addition, the borough manager and the vice president for student affairs once again requested that bars not offer state patty state drink specials, extended hours, or theme promotions. It's been a year since the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. Spotlight PA reports Pennsylvanians who live near the border say they're suffering from hair loss, tremors, migraines, and more, and have been stymied in their efforts to access resources such as testing and medical guidance. The state Supreme Court has ruled a Pennsylvania township has the right to limit where people can set up gun ranges. A Poconos man installed a backyard range and claimed the township rules violated the Second Amendment. The high court disagreed. And in honor of a horse that was captured running down Interstate 95 in Philadelphia this week, the Enquirer has created a playable game called Horse 95 to see how far you can make it. The horse escaped an urban riding club and galloped in full stride down the highway's shoulder and traveled about six miles before being captured. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.